Vicky is becoming confused. The generals are arguing amongst themselves, and their lieutenants can't follow their orders. Got to get Vicky, Vicky would like the generals to agree, isn't that what you were saying? Yeah. At the moment, you're so, sending me two different like routes of right, information, I'm sorry. and I'm yes. getting very I'm, confused. I'm being told to move stuff that isn't actually mine. <laughs> exactly. Right. Sorry, it's a bit confusing. It doesn't say Vicky's and James up here, so I'm getting a bit... With the flanking manoeuvre delayed, the Hittite infantry struggle to survive against the Egyptian axe. Meanwhile, a unit of chariots from the second Egyptian army has raced across country, and they've now arrived at the fort, where they can attack the rear of the team's army. The battle has reached a pivotal point. Peter tries to impose order on chaos. We've got to win this battle okay, before okay. they get here. We, we've got to commit everything, haven't we? You see those chap all those units up yeah, there? Yeah, they're mine. Yeah, yeah. well, they don't shouldn't yeah, be there. They I... need to be attacking the flank of their army. I know. We're sending them. The team are counting on a lightning strike from Vicky's chariots. But instead of heading directly to the front line, she decides to take the scenic route. The battle depends on you. Oh, don't say that. No, 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 you, you could make the critical move, okay, which could um, pull the fat out well, of the We've arranged to do that, haven't we? So Vicky is going to go for an envelopment using her chariots. Which is a good idea. Which is a good idea in trying to disrupt the Egyptian archers. But look at the welcoming committee. There are a lot of Egyptian chariots who are ready for her. So you're doing all the flanking. James, you're just bashing away in the centre. Fine, fine. One of you has got infantry moving towards the ford. Yeah. Right. Uh, you need to go look there because there's a whole load of cavalry just about to cross into your infantry. James's spearmen and archers head for the river to fend off the newly arrived Egyptian forces. It's critical that they hold off this new threat if their army has any chance of surviving the battle. The Hittite spearmen make an aggressive charge and the Egyptian chariots pull back. But things aren't going so well back on the other side of the river. Our infantry are all involved and uh, they're losing. They're losing slightly. In fact, the team is losing badly. The Hittite infantry, unable to hold out any longer for chariot reinforcements, gives way on the left flank. Within moments, the team's spearmen on the right flank are also overwhelmed. <laughs> last, Vicky's chariots complete their long flanking manoeuvre. But is it too late to make a difference to the troops on the front line? This is a good move. Yeah. It may, it may help them at this late stage if they can actually beat their way through the Egyptian chariots. As we go a bit closer, look, look, what, look what Vicky's chariots have run into. And it becomes again a, a, a fight of chariot versus chariot. Including that, well, in which that the tight weight should should get should right. count for something. Keep going, Vicks. You're going well. Okay, Get about the chariots. Yeah. Attack their infantry from behind. You yeah. could be in a. You yeah. could win the battle here. But look, as just as Vicky's chariots are finally getting their chance to disrupt the Egyptians, look what's coming down the hill towards the fort. Right, well, you've got the other Egyptian army, the Nair in, approaching from the rear, which clearly is bad news now for the Hittites. James, you, you see the people by the fort, they need to advance because they're about to be attacked by something crossing the fort. The team has provided just a small unit of spearmen and archers to defend the river, and now the rest of the second Egyptian army has arrived. For any general, this would be a nightmare. What the team has got now is two separate battles on their hands. They're trying to contest the ford against the Nairin coming across, and they've just been hit by another group of Egyptians, mm. and they're just going to get crushed. Well, their army's broken up, hasn't it? That's right. Down at the river, a small Hittite force is sandwiched between fresh Egyptian infantry and ferocious axemen, arriving from the frontline battle. Okay, we're in trouble here. We're in trouble there. They're, they're about flanking us here. Fix yeah. your cavalry. Send them right round the I back. I don't have any cavalry. Oh, the generals. Yep. Yeah. Things have got so desperate that King Muwatalaj himself tries to swing the battle with his bare hands. James, the lieutenant.
lieutenant makes a last ditch attempt to resist the Egyptian invasion and save Kadesh. Regroup, can you try and regroup all the guys? You know this one point. They're all going away the from the Russians. Ah, draw out there and load. Generals, we only have control of the archers. Only what? Have control of the archers. Everyone else we is lost on the ground. Else. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I think we've lost. With their front line destroyed and their rear line besieged, all the remaining Hittites can do is run for their lives. Uh, some units flee across there. That's right. The, the Hittites have just kicked up a big rooster tail of dust and it's all over for the Hittites. I think we're just about to go down. Yeah, I'm having to force attack the archers. Well, we, well, I think apparently according to the map we lost all our troops anyway, so I wouldn't really be worried. Is all lost? All is not lost, is it? Oh, yeah, it is. I think I think we're in slight difficulties. Oh, there the archers. Oh, wait a minute. Right, it's the end. Defeat him. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah. Oh, too bad. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you think it went wrong? Well, I, mean, I hear about the communication problems, but was the plan the yes. right plan? No, I don't, I, it couldn't have been. It was, it was, um, we, we kind of uh, had a nice defensive strategy, and, uh, and, then we, and then we attacked them, and all we did was provoke them to form a nice defensive line. Then we moved across and kind of messed about with our chariots a bit for over here, waste, wasted our opportunity. That was James' fault, wasn't it? Well, no, no, it's my fault because. I, can't, I, can't, I kind of didn't think that they were going to attack our chariots while they were just sitting there away from their army. Alright, let's see how the experts thought you did. They may not be harsh. <laughs> <laughs> this is any encouragement, they both flunked history at school. <laughs> Nearly. Gentlemen. Right, well you did a good recce. You uh, got a good grasp of things, but I think you allowed, in some respects, the river and some of the other features to really dominate your thinking. Yeah. So what you should have done is been much more aggressive. All those nice things about caring about one another's feelings and not bullying people and all these other things you get in school. Forget it. <laughs> Drive a chariot over them. Grind them into the dust. Stop the chariot. Get out. Jump up and down on them. Put a few spears into them. That's the kind of approach you needed. You really needed to hammer them early on. Use your superiority in chariots. First thing, almost the first thing Vicky said is, time is on their side. And Peter identified early on that uh, they needed to be aggressive. And there was a bit of talk, the plan came up, what we're going to do is hammer them. And hammer that bunch, and then we can hammer that bunch. That was exactly the right thing to do. The only way that you could win is to take them on one by one. So that each time, you could concentrate all your strength against only a little bit of Pharaoh's army. But Sam doesn't want to get his guys cut up in the fort. Now, that's not, not a bad idea. The problem was that it undermined the plan. So you had a good plan to start with. You abandoned it. You went back to the good plan, but by then it was too late. Two big pieces of the Egyptian army that had been far apart were able to unite, and you were fighting against that mass of Egyptian combat power. And by the time that other big chunk of the Egyptian army came, it was, it was really already too late. Yeah. Well, let's see how the battle was fought, shall we? Yeah. Yeah.